Hello, welcome back to this Archuria Jupiter 8 video series. Today we're dealing with various preset management options. Now I don't typically obsess too much about presets. Most of the video series that I do, I don't even go into how to actually access presets because it's so obvious. But on the Jupiter 8 there's a few idiosyncrasies that I just want to deal with. Firstly we've got the standard Archuria interface up here where we can select a preset of our choice and it loads that preset in. Great. That's the deep blue preset in all its madness. But where things get a little bit quirky is the way that that preset inter interacts, uh, interfaces with the Jupiter 8's original preset bank. See this, um, this red LED section over here? It says deep blue, which is the name of the preset. And we've also got a low and up, indicating that it's a dual uh, key mode preset. What's going on here is that we have the ability to load individual presets into the upper and lower panels. Now it's a little bit difficult to show you this in dual mode. If we go to split mode, if I set low to sequence, let's have inspection. There's my uh, sequence and in up, head over to uh, analog lead one. There's my sequence. So I've been able to load individual presets into each of the panels independently. These buttons over here, uh, banks and presets, are the 64 original presets that came with the Jupiter 8. So if I go to bank 5, preset 4, Jupiter 8, factory 54, and down here, Jupiter 8, factory 54. Then jump up to the preset section. This is a pad, Jupiter 8, factory 54. I can go to all types and find it that way too. So here you can see uh, bank one, preset one, going all the way down and then carrying on down to bank 8, preset 8, giving you 64 individual presets. From that point onwards, you've then got complete control of it. So again, go into split mode, you've got bank uh, Jupiter 8, factory 8.8 uh, 8 with the uh, now being edited symbol. And I can change either of those at will. So it's a little bit weird just bear in mind that each time you go to this upper section, the moment I click out of that preset, it's going to throw away everything that I've done below. You can see that the lights are still lit, but it's no longer Bank 8, Preset 8. If I choose a new preset, it will remember that it was last on Bank 8, and now it's selected Bank 8, Preset 5. If I change banks, having clicked bank number three, all of the presets are deselected and now I have to explicitly select one in order to get to a new original factory preset. So just bear in mind, the interrelation between all of these options is a little bit quirky. I understand the need to implement the synthesizer in its completely original form and it had these buttons so they've been implemented. But to be absolutely honest with you, between you and me, was it necessary? No. You know, it's just 64 presets out of a much larger selection range now. Hope that helps you make a little bit more sense out of the preset options for the Jupiter 8. And if it did, please consider subscribing, hit notifications, and you find when the uh, the next video comes out. Hope to see you then. Thanks a lot.